All right, here we are. We got this brand new Oklahoma Joe's pellet smoker grill. So the nice thing about this is, uh, you know, we have our normal propane grill over here and we're hoping to get a lot more flavor, maybe some more consistency out of this grill. We're excited to try it out. We, we don't have a smoker, so we've never done this before. These are great if you're you know, learning how to smoke and give you that kind of smoky flavor. This is a heavy beast. This weighs about 250 pounds. So I used my mechanics creeper to help get it out here onto the deck. So what we'll do, we'll take it apart, put it together, see what the assembly's like, and then ultimately put up some food. Assembly took about, I would say, an hour, a little over an hour, hour and ten minutes or so. A few interruptions here and there, but overall, pretty easy. Not a whole ton of hardware. Went together pretty nice, I would say. Here's a quick overview of how this works. So you load the hopper with the pellets, set the cook temperature. Now the feed auger and the blower fan will be able to maintain a fairly consistent temperature in this. Be a nice, even, and consistent cooking. So you see it feeds the pellets, heat it, and then this will even get hot enough about I think 650 degrees, somewhere around there, if you want to do some searing, you can get hot enough to sear and low enough to smoke. So it has a pretty wide temperature range, which is pretty cool. Excited to give this thing a try. Guys, the burgers came out fantastic. We're gonna now attempt to smoke these. We don't have a lot of time, being that we had to do the initial startup process on the grill, which burnt off all of the manufacturing oils and things like that. Then went ahead and seasoned the grill. And then after that, we're finally ready to start cooking on it. So we grilled the burgers. Now we're gonna try to do a little bit of a smoking on these skewers here, these chicken skewers. So we're going to let them ride a little bit longer in the grill. You know, we'll see maybe half hour to, to an hour in the smoker. And instead of using the sear function, we'll switch it over, you know, maybe not to full smoke, but allow it to get a, a nice flavor into the meat if we can. All right, guys, we had these smoked nice. They got a good flavor in them. We did a little test run now. We're just gonna get a little sear. Get a little char on the outside. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So we smoked these guys for about an hour or so. Actually more, maybe an hour and a half. Very low setting, the lowest temperature setting. Now we're just going to sear them up, get a little bit of char on there. Alright, we just initiated the hop shutdown procedure, so we emptied out all the hops. In the cooling mode. So now this will go ahead and burn out the rest of those. Oh yeah, that looks good. Alright guys, different day here. This is the wrap up for the Oklahoma grill. So we did our first grill, our first smoke on it. 
overall super impressed. The food came out fantastic for being the first time ever using it. Just very intuitive, and of course, you know, that is to the grill itself. You know, it has the controls there, it gets the temperature that you want it to be at. It's perfect. We have the cover on it here now, which is sold separately, of course. Now, one of the things we didn't count on when we first set it up, of course, we had to season the grill. So first thing, we ran it for about a half hour at low heat to medium heat just to burn off all the manufacturing oils. And then after that, seasoned the grill, got a little bit of oil into the cast iron before we actually started cooking our food. So we wanted to make sure we did it the right way from the start. And yeah, I mean, the food spoke for itself. It was absolutely delicious. So we're really excited. We got some other different recipes on here, some other cuts of meat. So I'm trying out some different pellets to see what kind of flavor we can get out of it. Be sure to keep it posted. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. Thank you.